Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about video calling APIs. So we will be discussing about the Jigo Cloud. So Jigo Cloud provides UI kits for the video calling, voice calling, and many other features are there, right? So we will be creating an Android app where you can video call each other. Like you can create a video call and invite the link with other users, and they can also join. So that kind of thing you can call directly as well. So I'll be showing you how we can do that. So first of all, let's go through this Jigo Cloud. So what Jigo Cloud is? So you can go through its doc uh, its documentations as well, or its like landing page as well. So you can see they have powerful features actually for vo video and voice chat, video calling, voice calling, live streaming. So many solutions are available there. You can see video call, in-app chat, voice call, cloud recording live streaming AI effects right they have many features so you can go through them these all the features are provided by them and one of the great thing is like you don't need to do most of the things on your end they provides you for all these kind of features the built-in ui kits so you just need to integrate and just need to set up the ui kits very few code you need to write so after setting up that you can use these kind of UI kits there so you can integrate these kind of functionalities you can see so they have a lot of APIs available there so they are like perfect fit for all kind of industries as well you can see so they have UI kits for every kind of platform mostly right so this is about this introduction so let me quickly go through them how we can create app using this so first of all you need to sign up actually if you don't have any account you can create a new account so you can fill up this information very basic information this is like first name last name country email verification code and all other things right so you can fill up this information there right so after this what we need to do is after this you will be moving to the dashboard right but i have already have the account so i will be logging in actually right we are logged in now and after login so what we need to do is we need to create a new project here so if you have not created new project so you can go through this with which kind of ui kit you are using so we'll be using this voice and video call right you can pick up any other one so whichever you required right so but i am not going to create any project here because i have already created one project so i'll be continuing with that so after the you will be creating the project so you can get all this information there right project name app id status app sign right all these information you can get from this we need to use this app id and app sign so this will be needing in our configuration in the app side right so this is from here and these things i have already copied right so my app sign app id i have already copied them right so now i'll be showing you the code which i have written for this so you can I can quickly go through that so that's not that difficult because as I already said from the code and we just need to write very minimum code to integrate this functionality right so I have created one this layout so you can see just I, I will be displaying the user ID here as username so for the current user and then we can invite send the we can send the invitation like video call notification as well to the other users uh, by entering their user id right then we can video call and voice call the, those options will be shown here while i will be running this app right so it's pretty easy so i will be this is very simple ui you can make yourself as well but i will be sharing the code as well don't worry about that few things i would like to mention here so you can see we are using the uh, these view from the like layouts right as we get find view by id so these things for the then we have created this user id username and then we have set up these things like user id from these variables right 
after formatting the getting the string from the strings right whatever text we want to show we have added them into the localized strings right so then these things i'll be getting app id and app sign i'll be getting from build config right so by this name app id and app sign you need to add them inside the local properties i will not be showing them here so because they are the confidential secrets so i will be not showing them here so you can add them by this name in there and i have added the if you see gradle secrets plugin so this plugin allows you to pick up the config items you add in the local dot properties you can use those uh, variables as or you can say properties as build config items right okay so after this so we are doing this init call invite service right so this setup is like just directly integrating the if you can see jigo ui kit pre-built so pre-built call invitation config right so there are many other ones as well here so if you don't want to invite or you can live stream so there are many different kind of ui kits so you can go through them whatever is needed right so we will be as i discussed integrating the video call thing right we will be inviting as well other users so this is a very easy thing you can see call invitation config so this config you need to create then you need to, need to provider you can create this kind of provider and then set this invitation data passing this variable inside the get config method right this one so this is very easy code you can see so then you need to set up few event listeners so in case of errors what you need to do you can set up that that listener here in case of connect listener if user is connected successfully what you need to do right so then we will be initializing this pre-built call service so this will be initializing this is the some configuration part and listener so this will be initializing our call service right right so after that so again you can see a few other listeners as well we can set call and listener call events we can set up this as well on room state change so few things these are pretty easy things so you can go through them then this is very simple behavior on back press we can but currently we are not using this you can just ignore this one we are not signing out because we are not logging in that part is for offline support as well but, but we are not covering that here right so then these few things the get config you can see they are like depending upon the video call so is video call is group call these things they are inviting actually so they are deciding according to the logic so if it is video call value is true it's video call if invite is size greater than one it's group call so these things they are like setting up in the configurations right and then in the on destroy we need to end call as well right you know if activity is getting destroyed the call is should not be there in the memory so that we should disconnect call as well right it does not make sense to keep that right so these are the few things so we can use so let me try to run the app and let's see so i will be running it on multiple devices i have one of the devices i will be using as emulator and another device will be my real device okay so let's try to run the app on the multiple devices at the same time yeah one thing i missed actually so for using that sdk this dependency you need to add this part i forgot my bad so this this is the main dependency because you know if we want to use any kind of library or anything we need to add its dependency so this is the dependency i will be showing you its link as well so you can go through here so its documentation is given so you can check out this link these kind of links will be put in the description of the video you can easily check them right so here you can see all the things they have mentioned so how you need to integrate you can see so don't worry about that right so now let's see i think app is running yeah you can see here it is running it's it has created we have just added some unique user id right it should be unique and then depending upon this user id we have created a username as well right this is the invitee so if from this device we want to invite another one device using it that kind of user id for of another device right suppose another device is you can see it is my real device this one let's minimize this you can see so app is installed in both so my this this is my real device so in this what is my id 
this one 461290 right so i will be inviting that so you can see everything will be happening you will be this this device will be receiving a call then this user is inviting this device right so there are two options we can use currently voice call or video call so we will be doing the video call here right you can see these are few permissions so in the emulator it will be showing screen like this so because there is no real cam on the emulator don't worry about this you can think of it like another user and this one will be another user while it will be connecting so you can see user this one calling this device is calling to user this right and this device is getting call from this this 516 is the id of this device right if you accept it you can see now you can see this this is my device right which is connected now this is my real device if you see i am moving that now you can see pretty cool right now it's connected and if you see this one is this user is seeing this user here right right if you see click on this you can see all the options video right if you want to turn off the video you can turn off you can see this device has turned off its video and if i turn off my video from my another device you can also turn it off right so this is from here if this user want to turn off it can turn off you can see screen is turned off right and we can turn on change the camera as well if you see now camera is my backward if you see this is my macbook from my system i'm making this and now let's move this back you can see all the features are available here yeah now it's again the front okay and similarly you can see disconnect call like mute volume all the things are there you can see and now it's showing here you the your idea as well you are speaking right so if you mute your audio will be muted right so we can mute as well so these are the few things you can see so if we can change the screen you can see these videos we usually do these things right which view we want to show at larger so all the, these kind of things are here so you can see so you can see now we can really very easily do the video calling so what we need to do is very few lines of code were there just just this single activity you can see and these three or four methods are there we need to set up some configuration and then so few other things like after setting up the service we needed to set up this video button as well on the click what we were doing is picking up the id and then setting up the invitees so in the video calls that button we are setting up the invitees so that that thing is now sending the notification and all sending the invite all other things are they are being done in build right so that functionality we are not doing here that's the cool feature of this you don't need to do that much stuff only these lines of this much lines of code you are writing and you are ready to go with this video call you can see yourself right so we can disconnect and okay so if you see this is pretty cool feature so you can go through their documentations and you can check out their link as well so you will be getting some free minutes you can see 10000 and i think they will be probably valid for one month i guess not sure so you can check that out if i'm wrong so this cool right so it's very cool you just need to add few lines of codes you need to make few setups and you are good to go with the video call right so which i just you showed you so on the two devices i tried to video call each other so that worked pretty fine all the features were there right that i have already showed you so that's the all about this video i hope you have enjoyed this video and you would be liking this geo cloud for the video calling voice calling chatting other many many other things are there live streaming so all those things will be there so i hope you will be enjoying this so that's all about this video i will be seeing you in the upcoming video till then bye bye take care have a great time keep coding Thank you.